Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to make up or what we what we call in the business concoct a solution of a MacuClean and use it. Uh, there's a lot of questions about it and some people say they're afraid because they're not really, you know, scientists and they, they don't know what to do. And I just want to make sure that we understand the difference between milliliters and liters and and uh, how to make this stuff up and use it. I will make up a little bit today at the, the lighter end of the spectrum. There's like a heavy, like a thick end that is for if you have really only use if you have you know a lot of dirty dirty stains on your book because it will sometimes leave a streaky residue you have to take off later. I'll make some at the at the lower end and and I'll describe how to do that. I um, hope you enjoy the video. Take care. Bye bye. So a MacuClean is made up between 17 and a half and 35 grams per liter. You can go down to 15 grams per liter. That's fine. So if we list, if we say if we want a, a typical bottle of material that we're making up is going to be around it's about 200 milliliters a little less a little more I think mine's only 190 milliliters so we'll see here you get one of these dropper bottle things and then you can you know fill that up with Immaculclean it's about it is about um, about 200 milliliters you're making up something to note is that Immaculclean should be made up between 17.5 grams of Immaculclean per liter of solution and 35 grams of Immaculclean per liter of solution. Okay, That's the range. Now the density of Immaculclean, which I'll write over here, is about 1.15 uh, grams of Immaculclean per milliliter of Immaculclean. So because of that, because of the density, when you divide this, you get somewhere between 15 milliliters of Immaculclean per liter of solution and 30 milliliters of Immaculclean per liter of solution. Okay, this is, this is I'm only doing this because you asked for it. So I wouldn't be doing this. I tried to avoid it for a long time, but people ask, so you get, so you get it. Um, now I want to make up today 190 milliliters, which is 0 0.190 liters. So I'm going to do this in excruciating detail first, and then a little quicker. So I want 190 milliliters of solution already made up. That's the solvent and the solute, right? So I'm going to say that that solution at this concentration, at the lower end, is going to be well, first I have to convert this from milliliters to liters. So I say there's a thousand milliliters of solution it is one liter of solution. And this is SOL apostrophe and that's writing solution. I'm sorry, I'll erase this and I'll make a, a straight line here so you can see it a little better. There we go. And I will make this a straight line so it looks better. Beep. Okay. Times, we now know that one liter of solution, we have liters of solution. We need from this, we get from here, we need 15 milliliters of Immaculclean. And we just stop there, right? So we say we have 190 times 1,000, so 190 times 15, 190. Uh, enter 15 times and divided by a thousand and we get uh, that we should get 2.85 milliliters of Immaculclean. That's the answer to what we get. And you do the same thing, the same way you can just say 0 0.190 uh, liters of Immacu of solution and then you just uh, multiply that by 15 and you'll get uh, 2.85 milliliters of Immaculclean on the low end and on the high end we'll just double that and we'll get about 5.7 milliliters of Immaculclean and 190 milliliters of solution. This would be close to 6 milliliters on the strong end. So we'll make it up. So in between there and there, so I will put up, I'll put 3 milliliters. And how will I do that? I will fill a graduated cylinder to 
I will fill it with my magic juice here um, to the three milliliter line and then I will pour that into a pump dispenser with some amount of water in it right and then I will fill it up to a line that reads 190 milliliters with more water after I rinse this out and that's the path so that's what we're uh, you can't uh, you can see that this is a uh, 190 milliliters here sorry 190 milliliters so that's what we're going to do today uh, so that's me showing you in a cartoony form what's going to happen and then we'll just do it so I hope uh, hang in there and have fun so this is the uh, bottle that I'll be putting the Immaculate Clean in and this is the bottle of Immaculate Clean and here's a this is a graduated cylinder it marked one two and three milliliters here so I'm going to put some Immaculate Clean in there and it's pretty thick as you'll notice and we'll have a little trouble getting it out but that is okay because we know how to deal with it and it'll be a little bit of mixing and you'll notice it'll probably be you know it'll have some bubbles because it is a soap and it will have a little bit of trouble getting in the bubbles to settle down and measure exactly so we're not going to get too tied up in the exact amount just somewhere for us in this bottle somewhere between three and six milliliters and we're going to start off on the low end and we can wait for these bubbles to pop and be precise but we don't really have to because it's not that important to be exactly correct in that range so i'm going to start towards the low end range of immaculate clean here and um i am going to rinse this pipette tip in my water here i have some di water in my container and to keep this kind of clean I'm just going to rinse this out in here a little bit. Not necessary, it's just a way to, for me to keep from wasting material. Put the cap back on before I spill it. Then what I do is I pour this in here as best I can. I made a mark on the side of my container to show everyone where 190 milliliters is. Now this is going to take a little bit to pour out and that's fine. There it goes. Now normally I would just squirt my, I have a squirt bottle here, but you don't. So what you do, do is you take some of this water from the top and you just squirt it in here and do it a couple of times and just get the last little bits of that out. I kind of like, again, I'm just trying to like, see what I'm doing here, kind of washing it out with this. And I pour it in. And I just put it in there like that. Do it one more time. Just to get all of it out of here, you know, just make sure that we're getting all the stuff out of here. Then, normally you would just fill this up, the graduate cylinder, and put it in the dispenser. I'm just going to use my squirt bottle since I have it here. And get it to the right level so it's almost there at 190 milliliters but I'm just going to shake it you see the soap kind of go into solution there and yeah I just you know if you're new to this I recommend if you don't have some reason to make it up at a stronger concentration make it up at that lower end and then just shake it a little and you're you're ready for use so what we're going to do is we're going to get a book. I've got a couple books here. I'm going to grab. I've got a, what is this one? Uh, Western Gunfighters, and I have a Hulk over here somewhere. These books are have seen better days, right? These are raggedy-ass uh, books. And there goes this one's cold. This one, I'll put this on the cold press panel. And we're just going to clean them just to see what happens here. Uh, we'll start with the cover on this book. Um, actually, we'll start in the back because the back, I think, has got a lot more white on it. Well, so you've got some stains here around the corner and they got up here. We're going to see, let's just clean half of it. Why don't we do that? 
I'll get a, um, a backing paper paper here, and we'll just clean half the book and see which half should we clean. I wonder. There's more white on this side. It's not quite evenly dirty, so we'll clean. I guess the left half, right about here, and we'll just clean that off and see what happens as we wipe it with a Mackie Clean, and we'll do a little before and after side by side. We'll get the you know the colors here and we'll just kind of see there's I'm just gonna let it sit for a few seconds and then I'll just do it again usually I get more the second time I'll use the other side of this pad um, and we'll see hello little fella come clean for daddy here this is actually my own book so we'll see how it goes I've had this thing forever and never cleaned it before and there's the difference if you can see between the left and the right half of that book and we'll do the front here hmm what parts do we want to do that was one ugly asshole okay um let's do top and bottom how about that on this side we'll go top and bottom so we will take the top and we'll wipe it and you probably you might have to do this several times to get all the junk off of it. It depends on the book. And so a little worry of the reds and yellows, but none are coming off here. And then we'll just kind of wipe it. Yeah, it's looking better. I mean you can Yeah, it's hard to tell actually. It's it's a lot of dirt coming off on the pad, but this is the colors kind of confuse the eyes. I'm just gonna clean the whole book. Just because I don't want to have to come back and do this twice. And it's starting to wrinkle up, which is okay. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna grab another pad and do the back again. And we're just gonna put this here again and wipe it again. And you'll see that I think I'll get even more dirt. Well, who knows? I don't know if I'm gonna get more dirt, but it can't hurt. So there we go. Yep, got a little more dirt. So that's one. And here's a difference for you. Left and right, I'll show a picture too. Of what the Mackie Clean does for that book. Then we'll get the other guy. A little older book. This is uh, from 1972. Maybe, maybe it's the same age. Oh, it smells good. Um, so this one, it's got some. Oh, awesome! There's some stuff. There's a junk up here, junk over there. Let's grab just on the other side of this uh, blue line here. Let's get some Mackie Clean action going. And we will see what this stuff does to this book. Now I'm going lightly. This is not heavy, by the way. It sounds like it because you can probably hear it. My microphone is crazy good for some reason. But um, I'm picking up this blue ink out of this spot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can see some of it coming up. But this yellow stuff's not coming out. That's most likely foxing, and that needs a different agent. So we will see what Immaculate Clean does to this stuff here. We'll get it wet again. And I think, you know, a few passes in this and it'll probably come out actually, honestly. It looks like I'm pressing hard, but it just not very hard at all. Um, so you can see that it's, it is indeed removing some of the, the blue ink here, but not, it's not all in one pass, of course. Um, you know, we'll uh, explore this by doing the front of the book as well here. Just got a lot of yellowing right there on that side. So I'm going to just uh, wipe that up. See if I can pick any of that up. You know, sometimes it comes up and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, you know, I just... Dirt does not have a clear definition. So um, sometimes it comes. And, and, you know, rarely does all of it come the first time. So... I'm just going to do this guy here, and uh, some dirt coming off of that. I'll come back here and do this, and we'll see what it looks like. We will. I will I'll just press both of these real quick, leave them, leave them dirty. We'll press them, and then we'll see. A lot of times they, they, they tend to clean more once they're actually already um, they're dry. You know, press them, and clean more. They look better. They look when they're wet. It kind of still shows the marks a little 
So we'll come back and we'll we'll check it out. All right, I gave these books a quick and dirty initial press. They'll get a second press later. Let's see how they look. Does this look any wider? You know, I don't know. Maybe I should have taken a picture of this one before. Maybe better. It looks. I mean, it looks smoother for sure. Let's look at the back. Um, I'd say that this looks wider here. I mean, I mean, it's not great, but less blue, I guess. And this is. Oh, I missed the. Uh, I should have mentioned. I missed the edge of the the board underneath this book when I pressed it, so I had to press it again. But um, does it look cleaner? It does. I mean, not great. It looks a little better. The whole. I mean, the whole book looks better for being pressed, I guess. So let's see, Mr. Hulk here. How's Mr. Hulk doing? He's as ugly as ever. I don't know <laughs> what's up with this dude, but all right. It looks okay, I guess, but let's look at the back here. Uh, left or right? There's a difference. I can tell a difference here for sure. I would say this looks wider. The bottom? How's the bottom look? Left is, yeah, it looks better where we use the Immaculate Clean on it. I mean, I'd say that there's no, no doubt about it that this looks, uh, looks better this way. I, I like it.